A. Chair Levine. I vote aye. Byron. I abstain. And Pre Samuel. I vote aye. The vote stands two in the affirmative, one abstention. The vote okay. stands. Thank you both. I'm going to read the statement. No need to stay if you don't want to, but uh, I am Mark Levine, and we are here at the Committee on Health uh, to vote on intro 954A. This legislation would allow individuals to amend the sex designation on their birth certificate without requiring the affirmation of a physician or health professional. Instead, the legislation would require a signed and notarized statement by the applicant attesting that the request for a change in sex designation is to conform the person's legal gender to the person's gender identity. The bill would also allow individuals who don't identify as exclusively male or female to change the sex designation on their birth certificate to an X. Birth certificates are vital documents that are used in many contexts to prove identity, age, and citizenship. They are often the only form of ID that allow for low-income New Yorkers um, when they are applying for jobs or public benefits. Without a birth certificate that accurately reflects their gender identity, transgender people are routinely forced to disclose their transgender status, resulting in increased difficulty in accessing critical services and opportunities. Local Law 1, adopted by the Council in 2015, finally removed the antiquated requirements for individuals to present proof of sex reassignment surgery to amend the gender marker on their birth certificates. Local Law 1 allowed individuals to amend the gender on their birth certificates by having a medical or mental health professional fill out an affidavit or affirmation attesting that the changed sex designation more accurately reflects the applicant's gender identity. Since the passage of Local Law 1, more transgender individuals were able to change the, the sex designation on their birth certificate to reflect their gender identity. Over 1,000 birth certificate gender marker change applications have been approved since January 2015, compared to approximately 20 per year in previous years. A birth certificate is a critical document, and having one that correctly reflects your gender identity is a basic human right. In passing proposed intro 954A, New York City would join the ranks of jurisdictions like California and Washington State, which have enacted similar legislation to make it easier for individuals to ensure the gender on their birth certificate is consistent with their gender identity. I want to express my gratitude to the advocacy groups for their critical input to the Council on this important legislation. I want to thank the Speaker for his continued dedication to this issue over many years. And I want to uh, allow Council Member Dr. Matthew Eugene to register their vote as well. Matt, if you could please. Council Member Eugene. Edward would I. And thank, thank you, you very much, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Council Member thank Eugene. Um, and uh, we are now, uh, I believe, going to close the vote, or is? Well, I have to announce the vote. By a vote of three in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and one abstention, the bill has been adopted. All right. Thank you very much, and we're going to close the hearing.